Hello, my name is Sonny Smith. This is my project, 100 Records. We're standing here at Gallery 16. And um, this is sort of the centerpiece of the project, a jukebox that uh, a couple friends of mine and me made. Um, it ties in this project, which is 100 Records. Um, record covers made by visual artists of fictional bands and fictional singers that I created. And uh, what you can do in this show is you can, you can go see a record cover on the wall um, and you can see a number that says a letter and a number and then you can go to the jukebox and you can play the corresponding song. It began about a year ago at the Headlands Center for the Arts uh, had a small residency which allowed me to get a running start and uh, the way it began was I was writing a novel actually uh, and it had some fictional characters based on musicians that I knew and I thought it would be kind of interesting to just sketch out some of the fake album covers of these characters you know and maybe write some of the songs that they might sing when I got to the Headlands, I, there were other artists there. I kind of thought it might be cool to sort of farm out a couple of the sketches to some other artists. Paul Wackers was there, Emily Prince. I kind of asked a few people around the residency to try one. And uh, when they did, they were really great. They were really real pieces of, of art, you know, not just sketches. And uh, it kind of bumped the whole thing up a level. Uh, I realized that the songs I wanted to make needed to also be more than just rough sketches. They wanted to be actual songs that sounded like they were from some make-believe character. And um, that was kind of the beginning of realizing it was a much bigger project than I thought. So there's probably around 90 artists, I don't know Actually, I haven't counted, but I, there was a couple that I asked here and there to do too, just because I really liked their pieces. And uh, the way that the process worked was I had a master list of uh, the fictional characters I had made up, and with their fictional titles, the A and B song of, the, of their 45. And I would just give the artists this master list, and they could choose. And once they chose one, then I started writing the song for it. And so it was kind of like a simultaneous process. I didn't like look at their art and write anything in reaction to them. And they didn't, I didn't give them a song and they didn't write in reaction to it. So it really was just kind of will, will what they envision that this album cover to be like be congruous with the song. What I found out is that there, there hasn't been any one that's wrong. Because it's all fictional, there's no wrong. I didn't want to dip into cliches and have like, this is my country band and this is my fake reggae band and this is my fake metal band. So I, uh, I tried to make musicians that were much more complex um, and seem more realistic. Having said that, there were a few that just kind of went on their own tangent that are very far away from anything I've ever tried. Um, there are... Um, there was like one guy that was kind of a reggae guy and I don't play reggae music or whatever so that was kind of tricky there was um, there was one that was like a drag queen kind of cabaret singer and that was you know t a little tough and there was one for instance that was like a soul soul singer so we kind of made these uh, um, soul songs, I mean like really kind of 60s R&B, kind of Otis Redding like songs, but I, you know I can't sing like Otis Redding or anything and so I made him a mute. His, his songs are, tend to be instrumentals, but um, some of the characters that really came extremely without even trying it felt like were, uh, was one called Zig Speck. Zig Speck and his spec tones was kind of this um, punk rock kind of guy who drinks too much and like takes too much drugs and stuff and ends up dying but um, 
Uh, there was one named Hank Champion, who's the kind of poet who does poetry over country music. I walk the streets, richest man who ever lived. I have the birds and the trees to sing melodies and sweet hymns. I have shoes on my feet that I found at the corner of 23rd and Tree. And there are always pastries on the steps of St. Peter's Cathedral. Uh, Adelard Grassley is this character that's kind of obsessed with drowning, and I've been obsessed with drowning the last five years, so uh, he was really easy to write for. Hazel Shep is a guy who's in and out of mental wards, and it was really easy to write for him. I don't know. I don't know why. But. And uh, I ended up throwing Sunny and the Sunsets in there because I thought it might kind of play with the reality fantasy thing like maybe if there was just one real band in there my band it would be like what is fake and what is real and I mean Sunny and the Sunset seems to me to be just as much a concept of my imagination as anything else really some of this fictional world is going to, is becoming reality like um, one of the bands had a gig the other night the Loud Fast Fools it was kind of a just a mix of people that had been involved and we we just sort of called ourselves allowed fast fools and we're gonna bill again there's a there's two women who became earth girl helen brown and they really uh they 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 they, they sang the other night at this club and um as earth girl helen brown so and also i was gonna there was one character like zig speck um I was gonna just, you know, shop it.